Hey guys, coming to you with another quick Affinity Designer tutorial. And today I'm just going to show you how, uh, just a quick tip and trick on working with uh, SVGs or EPSs. Uh, a couple months back I bought like a whole store full of EPSs and sometimes I know that um, when you're working with um, SVGs or EPS files, you get a lot of pieces. And I'm just going to show you a quick way to um, get your vinyl ready so that you can just layer it really easy. So let's get started. Let me pull up my bunch of t-shirts. See this one. Okay. Nah, not that one. Let's go in here. Nah, let's pull in this one. All right. And so sometimes they come in looking like this and you're like, hey, what the heck is this? Um, I don't prefer to work um, with the embedded file. So when I bring it in, um, I go to edit and it comes over here because sometimes when you're working in the embedded documents, although whatever you do here will show back up on your other file, I don't like to get in the habit of doing that. So all I'm gonna do right now I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to hit copy and now I'm going to go back to my file I'm going to move this over I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit paste so now as you can see I just have my file it doesn't say embedded anymore so I'm going to take the embedded one and I'm just going to delete it and so now I'm going to just X out of that and we're just going to work here all right so now as you can see when I open this up look at this look at all these pieces and now this one right here sometimes you'll get that extra layer I'm just going to delete that um, so look you got all these pieces now imagine if you are working in vinyl are you gonna sit there and play around with all these pieces no so the first thing I like to do is I like to bring in a square and this represents the t-shirt so whatever color t-shirt you're going to be working in, I like to see it. So I'm just gonna drop this down to the bottom. And so now I see that if when I layer this on a black t-shirt, this is how it's gonna look. And just for kicks, you can change the color of it. Look how it's gonna look on white. Look how it's gonna look on there. So you can kind of get a feel for whatever color shirt you're gonna use, how it's gonna look but quite naturally it's gonna look great on black all right so now all I'm gonna do I'm gonna choose my first color and since this one's right here I'm just gonna click on it so right now I've got that clicked I'm gonna go over here to select and then I'm gonna go to select same and then I'm gonna choose fill color so now it's gonna collect all of those colors and those pieces that's in that color so it's all there for me so I know that I'm gonna keep this as one piece so I'm not even gonna hit group I'm just gonna go straight over here to add and now all of the white is together in one layer and it's gonna cut it next I'm just gonna go to the blue I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go to select select same fill color it's picking up all the blue for me and now I'm just gonna hit add so now it's one piece so all those pieces it's now one next go into the next one select select same fill color BAM all the gray I'm just gonna hit add so now all the gray is one I'm gonna do the same thing for the red now go to select select same fill color I'm gonna hit add and now all the colors are the same if you want to you can go in and now you can type in white you can go in and type blue go in I'm gonna type gray I like to name my layers if I can all right and red all right so now everything is there look I'm gonna turn it off so you can see 
so all the white is there blue it's all one piece red I meant gray and then red and then if you want to double check to so make sure that it is an SVG you can click on the notes look at that look at that look at that so everything is ready so and before you get ready to export it you want to make sure that you just delete that so now all that you're going to save is this you go to file you go to export and we're going to export it as an SVG then we hit export and then you save it where you're going to save it to and I'm just going to call this and now I have my SVG and now we're done all right so if you have any questions you know where to find me and I will catch you on the next video